What is up, everybody? It is April third, or no, April twelfth now, twenty twenty two, and uh, we're getting uh, we, I, we're getting a couple snow flurries here in, in the Big Bear. So we're gonna go drive around and find some snow. We're gonna go up to the top of uh, Moon Ridge and just get a little bit of snow. I hope, but I did see a snowflake, so that's good. That's good. Let's let's do this. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, that's enough out of me. That's enough. Okay, sorry about that. Oh, here we go. The temperature is dropping significantly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. It's 38 now. It was just 43 at my house, but I know once we start rolling in the car, the temperature drops pretty quickly in all different cases. But we're driving by the golf course right now. Right now, we're still on Moon Ridge Road. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna take this up, up and away, up in the, up in the high country, up in Big Bear. Oh yeah, I wanna get high in the high country, up in Big Bear. Oh my gosh, you guys, how the heck are you? Oops, I gotta turn the steering wheel. That would help a little bit. But yeah, how are you guys doing? Are you guys catching any of these snowflakes coming down? Probably not, because I'm not catching them, so. We are going to the top, and it will be Starting our initial ascent up to the top of Moon Ridge. Yep, there's some snowflakes. Yeah! I knew we would find some bigger snowflakes up here, so that's good. I knew we would. This is what I'm trying to always do, eh? I'm trying to get, always get us the best snowflakes possible. This makes me so happy. As I said, you guys, I, I can be going through anything in life with this weather and be fine. Like, nothing can, nothing can affect me. I don't hurt really easily. I don't allow myself to get hurt. I don't get upset anymore. Um, I get sad, but yeah, this is this is awesome. This is awesome. I'm sorry about all this uh, windshield cleaning time here. So we are uh, on Calusa now, like Calusa Court or just Calusa, but we're gonna be turning on to Calusa Court or Calusa up here again, so. I know I'm not making any sense. Um, I don't think making sense was is one of my my strong points, but we try, we try. So yeah, not a strong point. I like it a lot. Here they come. We are getting some snowflakes up here. You can occasionally see some big snowflakes coming down. So it's pretty cool. Oh, like right there. Sweet. Sweetness. Ah, oh, sweetness. We're gonna make this happen. Oh, sweetness. Oh, it's a good time. It's a sweetness. Okay, we're gonna turn on Canyon Crest, actually. That's what we're gonna do. Canyon Crest. Canyon Crest. Make your turn, sir. Make your turn, con, sir. Oh my gosh, man. I'm telling you, having this woman just take up everything in my mind is just, it's, it's wonderful, to be honest. But like, at the same time, thankfully, I'm so busy because this would drive me absolutely nut bars not being able to like, or just thinking about her all the time. Ugh. But I'm telling you, she will be mine. You guys rest assured. Rest assured. I get everything I want, but 
I get everything I deserve as well. So, and she deserves me. I promise you that. I promise you that. Um, seriously, like this, this is a very special lady. I really can't wait till the day you guys get to meet her. I really hope that happens. I really do. I really do. She's just, she's just amazing. Oh my gosh, she's just amazing. I cherish the ground that she walks on. I just want to give her all the love that I can possibly give. And I have a lot of love to give. A overwhelming amount. But I don't give out love that easily. But this woman stole my heart. And she's got something coming. She has no idea what I'm capable of. And I'm really, really happy to be able to give her what she needs. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Story of my life. But yeah, so we're in Upper Moon Ridge right now. We are on, what street are we on? I can't really see. Um, we're on a street. Let's put it that way. Uh, I don't know what street we're on. I'll figure it out. It's definitely a street up here in Moon Ridge. But at least we caught some snowflakes. That was really important for me to at least be able to catch some of this stuff. Obviously, you guys can see we're inundated in this fog up here. <laughs> the higher elevation. We ran into some clouds. Some clouds. And once again, like on the video I made earlier, you guys leave me the most awesome comments. You guys make me feel so wonderful. You guys, you guys really do fill a big void in my heart. And man, I'm telling you, man, this, this woman is the piece of the puzzle that I have been like not looking for <laughs> for, for a long time. Like, I just didn't know that she existed. I really thought that like, I don't know, that I was too picky or um, not shallow, like not, not shallow. Um, even though I used to be, you know, it used to be all about looks for me. And uh, this lady is absolute, guys, she's probably like, she's probably the most beautiful woman up here. But at the same time, she's very intelligent. She's very intelligent. She graduated college. Um, she has a nursing degree. She's, uh, she's ambitious. She wants to do her own business. She makes pretty good freaking money. Like she's a great, great mom. She's a guys, you're not gonna believe this. She's a grandma. So imagine like if things work out, I, I could be a step grandpa. <laughs> Dude, that's just crazy. But I want to be that for her. I want to be that for her grandkids. I want to be there for her. Like, oh my gosh, you guys don't even understand. I just want to wrap her up and just just squeeze her and just never let her go. And give her everything she wants because she deserves absolutely everything. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I'm talking about this stuff, but I know you guys love me and you guys care about me and I want you guys to know exactly where my mind's at and what's going on in my life and, and we can help each other out, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm a really strong man. I, 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 you know, I do go through things, but I overcome and I fight and I fight for what is mine and I fight for what I deserve and I, and I will never give up. That's why I said, I always get what I want, but most importantly, I always get what I deserve. And that's why I feel like I deserve her just as much as she deserves me. I'm telling you guys, like, like I, 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 there's, there's, there's no woman that could feel any better being around me. I promise you that. I promise you that, especially if I feel for her the way that I feel for this girl. You will always be a princess every second of the day of, when you're in my life, and you will always be treated like it. And you will always be shown respect, love. You'll, you'll be shown everything you deserve. And seriously, that's what this this woman needs. I'm sorry, you guys, to keep on talking about it, but like, I really like this girl a lot, and she's been through an awful lot. And one of my superpowers is overcoming. 
and she has a lot of that in her and fighting through things and I just feel like we could be a great team and support each other because um, I do okay monetarily she does okay monetarily as I said like it's uh what am I doing oh my gosh what am I doing I don't know where, where the heck I went here but uh yeah and as I said again she's really smart but not only that you guys she is stunning like she is so gorgeous you guys are gonna be blown away I mean she's she's definitely a model like definitely a model and once again that's that's not what I'm going after like you know it's just nice that that comes with it I just want to have a, a good relationship and have someone who will be there with me and and we can be there to push each other be there to be in each other's corner if if someone's having a bad day be there to cr for them to cry on for her to cry on my shoulder or even vice versa even though I shouldn't cry you know like that's what I'm looking for and I didn't know that I was even looking for anything until like something very powerful like really propelled me towards her it was just you guys don't understand like I don't know what it was but something something very very powerful and not not in the human form like did something to me to make me want to protect this woman and take care of this woman and just do everything possible to make sure that every second of her day is just bliss and happiness and I'm not the kind of guy who gets jealous at least not anymore when I was really young I would every now and again but um, like she'll have all the time in, in the world that she wants to be with her friends and do all that stuff like like I'm not someone who cares about that I'm someone who trusts you have to trust that is paramount in any relationship being successful and going anywhere you have to trust the person you're with and you have to have confidence in yourself if you don't have confidence in yourself then you're always going to be worried about things like me I'm extremely confident with who I am and with my capabilities and my skills to communicate and um, just you know how I affect the opposite sex but she's she's perfect you guys she is everything she is she is that she's that golden ticket man in terms of perfection and whatever flaws she she may have because no one's perfect like like that's all what makes her her and and and, and I want all of that I want all of that. I want to be able to touch her in ways that she's never been touched. I want her to feel things that she's never felt ever. And I'm, I've, I've, I'm very magic in some ways. But this woman deserves my touch and deserves me to be there with her. Seriously, you guys, I am infatuated, huh? Holy moly. But it's a, it's a good feeling. As I said, it came out of nowhere, you guys. It came out of nowhere. Like, I've been up here for eight years. I haven't even had any type of physical relationship. I mean, not, like, sexually, at least. Um, and I, I talk to you guys about this because I care about you guys. And, and I'm not embarrassed, like, that it's been eight years. Not at all. Like, 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 for those of you who actually care, like, I actually turn down a lot. I really do like like I really do I'm not trying to sound like a schmuck or anything but um, but like I turn down a lot of females up here because I'm just too focused on my work I'm too focused on making money I'm too focused on bettering myself so I can be worthwhile for somebody else there and seriously like this this girl came out of nowhere and it completely lit a fire under my ass and I just want to do everything I can to please her. Like, seriously. Honestly, I don't care where it where it goes. I know she really, really is infatuated with me. And, uh, like, whatever happens, I really want her to be stoked and just happy no matter what. And I told her, if I can't have her, because I told you guys I screwed up and I said some, like, something really stupid and it's really messed with her. And um, I think she's forgiven me quite a bit, but, like... I told her, if I can't have you since she came out of the blue out of nowhere, I'm just going to go back to my regular days and just, just do what I do and do so well. Um, like, I'm not looking for, for anything, but when she popped up, it was just like, oh my gosh. I couldn't, I just could not believe it. I just could not believe it. So, yeah. 
absolute blessing. She is an absolute angel. I really want you guys to meet her someday. So we just gotta take things slow and make sure that she really understands how appreciated and cared about she is and how she will only be walking on rose petals when she's in my life. Her feet will never touch the ground. Ever. What a sappy guy I am, huh? Just a sap. But... What the hell is that? Sorry, I'm, it looks like there's a crack on the, on the camera part. It's probably because it's looking at my face too much. <laughs> you guys aren't supposed to agree with that. You guys are supposed to say, no, 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 you're plenty handsome, dude. You don't have to worry about that. Your face isn't going to break any cameras. Maybe some mirrors here and there. But anyway, I love you guys. It's the 12th of April, 2022 at 1.06 in the morning. Peace out. I know we didn't get much, but it was a couple snowflakes. Good night, you guys. I love you all.